All right, let's do this. Let's watch this. Uh, Joe Wall apologizing. Uh, this is gonna be. I'm. I'm curious. Uh, I'm trying to think. Weird day. Very weird day. I would say today is probably the worst day we've ever had in Warzone history. So basically today, uh, True. as all of us know that the new season was supposed to drop today. And prior to this new season, we had a call with the developers and stuff like we usually have, and we're promised a lot of things. We didn't get to play the update before everybody else. So we got to see everything when you guys got to see everything. So when we were hearing from the developers that all these things were being changed, it was very, very promising. And I was thinking, and like everybody else was also thinking that the game and the developers would deliver on that promise of all of these changes. And Get then when the season like a came out and yeah. all of us actually played, we realized a lot of the things that they promised did not happen. Which then a lot of people took that to social media and then kind of used creators as a scapegoat because I thought that the game was looking in the right direction because of the things we were promised. I don't really mind uh, trolls that much. Trolls will always just be a thing, it's the internet. But when I have other creator friends and people that I consider my friends, creators, that are quoting my tweets, calling me out, poking fun at things as they're just, it's just jokes. It's the internet. People don't get jokes. People don't understand sarcasm. So it just kind of rubbed me the wrong way that there's- Okay, we're stopping right there. He's not complaining that his friends are joking at him. He's, well, he's not, well, he's just saying that people aren't gonna figure out that they're joking around. So people are going to take that shit 100% serious and not be able to tell what the fuck you're talking about. There's other creators that are trying to point the fingers at people like myself for a bad update. We heard the same thing. We were all promised the same thing. And now somehow it got turned to be my fault and other creators' faults. It's and that just fault. really kind of blew my mind that it seemed like a lot of people were trying to get on the good side of Twitter and be like, oh, this isn't me. I, I would have never done that. Like they, like they didn't do the same thing for every single update and be like, oh, I didn't gas up this update. It's the same people that, that do it every season. They're so adamant about them just being right about this update that they don't even want the game to improve. They, people don't even want the game to improve. They just want to complain. If the update was incredible, <laughs> people would have found something to complain about. And I feel like- There are some people in this world that they live to just bitch. Main one he's talking about, uh, but I haven't confirmed. I went, I saw that tweet, Jared, and uh, I tried to click on it, and he deleted it before I could click on it. Today was probably the worst moment for the Warzone community I've seen in a very long time. Again, the trolls don't really bother me, but seeing like mutual friends that are saying things on stream, sending hate to be like, go tell Joe, like he's an idiot. And like, this is all his fault to say that. And then it happened to be like, oh, it was just jokes. Just blows my mind. And I feel like my friends that are creators should know way better than that. I mean, honestly, overall, just, just streaming the game all day, trying to kind of see the game as a positive way. Maybe things could get fixed and just seeing negative vibes of people, negative vibes of chat, and just people that uh, just are saying the most out-of-pocket, reckless things over a Call of Duty update that we all wanted to be good. And I know yeah, there's, there's a no lot way of people he that is usually the no way majority of people that really don't care. Like this. They just play the game for like, fun, which I completely understand that. Like, and the I'm man glad that death threats, you guys are probably happy. Really? And either way, you guys are going to be happy and you just play the game, which is incredible. But I know there's the other side, myself included, that's very, very passionate about the game. And that's why we're very vocal. And people keep saying, you're doing this to get paid. You guys don't get paid, right? We get zero. No. Zero big fat zero dollars from Call Activision of Duty. ain't gonna fucking pay them. The creators are getting paid. We didn't even get creator code. We don't even have a creator code. Creator codes have been done since Warzone 1. That was the only funding from Call of Duty that we've ever gotten besides tournaments that we won. And that was just for there is points. zero dollars being funded to creators that are on these developer I calls. Right? I don't know where that narrative right? came from, but we are getting no money. Yeah, from Call I, I think I think I'm it's so vocal points. about it because I want the game to be good. I don't know anybody that is just gonna sit back and be like the game is great and just let bad things happen or not voice opinions. And people say, well, you're just playing a game, bro, like blah, 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 which I do understand that. I think anybody would be a fool to say that they would not actually voice an opinion about something that's their career. If you do something 10 hours a day and you know that something could work better, you're gonna voice your opinion to your boss, to your job, Absolutely. to whoever, because you know, hey, this this is, I'm, I, I do this all day, every day. And that's why I'm so vocal about, hey, 
this should be changed. We should fix this. Let's approach this differently. Instead of just sitting back and being like everybody else and being like, the game's great. Now you could ask anybody that has actually sat with me at a table with a Call of Duty developer. So here's the thing about this. Uh, yes, he does play a video game for a living. Yes, he does do a lot of shit behind the scenes. But like, imagine if uh, one of your Excel programs didn't work if you do that kind of shit. That'd piss you off too, right? It's his job. It's, it's his fucking job. I don't get it, man. But yeah, I could. And also, like, this is to sit here, play a video game, and then talk to you guys, play a video game, talk to you guys. It, I'm not going to say it's hard work. There's a lot of people that do a lot harder work than I do. Of course, I'm one of the most vocal I'm people ever. Job. And I tell Let them how it is and say, this is why your game is bad. Now, whether they listen to me or not, I know that I'm 0.00001%. That's on them. But I'm never going to sugarcoat if something is bad, like this update was bad. And I think that sending hate to creators that were being optimistic about something that we were told, we didn't get to play season three. I see people saying, you got to play it, you should know. We didn't get to play it. We played the update the same time as you guys did. So when we're being told things, you would think that what we're being told would actually be true when the update drops. And then to be getting death threats saying that, I That's hope ridiculous. that your mom dies of cancer like your dad did. Like, what are we doing? Like, how have we gotten so far from playing a video game like Call of Duty that we all love and enjoy to then sending death threats to people. Today was definitely probably the worst update or most overpromised update we've ever had. And I hope that Call of Duty does something to fix this because we have ranked play coming in under a month. Um, we have no TTK Ranked play with shit like servers, thought, by the way. The movement changes that we were promised don't seem like they were very promised. And all these updates, servers included, were just didn't happen and we had multiple updates throughout the day that added stuff back in that should have already been in the update and we have a 1.2 million dollar tournament coming. coming up and we can't even load into a private match i mean it just blows my mind that the game has gotten to this but i don't even know what to expect or say anymore if you were able to have just a straight up one-on-one -on -one right now with call of duty what would you say you know what i mean fix I your fucking say, game first steps the patch notes today as all of us saw them were very vague. When we're seeing things like movement and outplayability is now going to be in this season, that sure sounds like we're getting an incredible, incredible buff to movement. Outplayability. Those notes should be very specific of what's going on. It should not be vague. Open. I saw some people like, well, it was open to interpretation. Okay, but it's the patch notes though. This is the facts <laughs> of what's it's going on in the patch. <laughs> it shouldn't be open to interpretation. It should be this is what's going on. This is what's changing. Movement speed increased 5%. How fucking hard is that? How hard is that? It's not hard at all. Slide, slide speed increased 4%. Exact word for word. And not you guys can kind of decide on your own what Suck. you think that'll mean. Do you just find out think creators should get, be able to play test? Because 100%. It, it's true. I feel like honestly every update, but especially this update, it blows my mind how, and again, I don't code. So I'm not saying that I'm a professional computer coder. If I did this, not at all, but you're a billion dollar company and they're just missing the most simple things in the game. It seems like that the, their own developers aren't even playing. They're not even playtesting. What they should do is, and I'm not saying that creators should get special treatment, but I'm trying to be a voice for everybody. I'm not saying bring back slide canceling and everything else. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying to to improve the game overall, they should bring have back creators well. playtesting the Please. game. And I guarantee you in under 30 minutes, I could have had a list of things that should have been fixed before this update even dropped. I saw a lot of people saying, why is it rank play, rank play here for season three? I'm like, before rank play comes out, I hope they fix all the bugs. That was before even the update came out. They don't have ranked play at the beginning of season three so that they can work through bugs. Like, that's, uh, that's blatantly obvious. Like, people need to actually think with their brains. Right? Like, also, it, to his point, they wouldn't do anything anyway. They didn't, they didn't listen to him back in September when they played the game at the next event or whatever the fuck it was called. So I said, I'm glad it's waiting because I already know when the season drops, all the bugs that we've always had, it's going to happen again. If you are just doing kind of the <laughs> same thing over and over every day, which I'm assuming the devs are doing, kind of changing up the game and things like that, you're going to miss things. 
in our own lives, if we're doing the same thing every, every single day, and someone like a friend or family kind of sees that from an outside perspective, you may miss something that you're doing wrong every day, but they could see it instantly because you're just in the normal vibe of, of your work or your day or your kind of life routine. But if they're at work doing the we normal We should have put a counter on the screen to see how many times he said they vibe. They may miss certain things that somebody else could catch in, in, in an instant that aren't doing their job. And that happens outside of gaming and life when you're just going through the same things every single day or trying to do something and then somebody else comes in and they see a new perspective then it could click and be like oh i didn't even notice that until you pointed it out and i think that's why they need to have creators play testing early so things like this don't happen call of duty i am very disappointed in what we were told um and what i fell for and a lot of people did too so uh for the people that are saying that I'm a sellout and all that. I apologize if you think that. Um, sorry for the people no. that no. listened to what I was no. what I was promised and took that for word for word. Um, and sorry to the people that expected more of season three. I don't work for the game, so I wish that I no. could. Uh, you can feel sorry for somebody, but do not apologize. More things change that I would like to have changed. But I guess going from here, uh, I'm gonna be, I guess the glass half empty type of person when it comes to Call of Duty updates, everything else will be the glass half full positive person as this is probably the most not negative vibe video, but just kind of sit down video we've ever had on the channel um, regarding a game How that many all people of us love, to this? be honest. And I try to even kind of see the trolls and all of the all of the just BS drama and, and, and all that anyway, because at the end of the day, we're all playing a video game that we love. All of us have loved Warzone since the pandemic. All of the creators that are uh, having drama and moaning and complaining and, and everything else, like we're literally having a dream job. We get to play video games for a living. And that is because of you guys supporting us. That's true. And for the last thing for the video. That's fucking uh, amazing. That's, that's the ultimate the goal, right? that showed me love today. You guys know, you guys mean the literal world to me. I can never say that enough, even though it's kind of a you know down video. Overall, the people that either comment on videos like this one, show up in stream, send me DMs, responses. Like that means more to me than you guys will ever know. You think and he I think dick that picks? there's very, very <clears throat> silent minority of so? people that complain got the best of a lot of people today <laughs> and of creators today. <laughs> and the people that are usually just like, yo, Joe, we love you. If the game's trash, yep. we still love you. If it's, it's, yep. if it's amazing, we love you. So um, I feel like that's the majority of people. So thank you guys. You guys mean the freaking world to me. And I say that all the time. I mean it. Um, you guys have blessed me to literally get to do something that I love to do every single day. I sent mine. Not sure you have about it though. Career. <laughs> and I'm blessed, unbelievably blessed. Sends like to truly emoji. Say that. And that's because of you guys. So thank you always. Vibes up. See you guys soon. Peace. Okay. Well. That young man owes not one single fucking person an apology we, we can all agree on that right like there's nothing that he needs to apologize for he got lied to he got absolutely fucking lied to he was he was the fucking activision was the player and he was just the cute little girl that thought that uh he would never cheat on him on her you know yes 100 percent agree Joe, you do not owe a single fucking person an apology. Absolutely not. People coming at you with fucking death threats and shit. He's like 24. And he got excited because these billionaires fucking told him that what was gonna, something was going to be in the game. Absolutely ridiculous. 100% ridiculous. And people, people suck, man. All right? As far as saying sorry to people like he did, you can... You can say sorry, or you can feel sorry for people. You do not owe anybody an apology, and that's what I fucking think about it. Hug somebody today. Nobody around to hug. Send a text. Make a phone call. I love you guys. Peace.